everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Pixie again, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Pixie. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you happen to be doing when you're watching this, I've been fabulously and safely. And tonight, which will not be tonight when you see this, because my internet's out. Um, yeah, I was doing so well for Vlogmas, and then all of a sudden my internet decided to crap out. So, uh, it's Sunday night. Yeah. No, we're on Saturday night. I'm sorry, my days are running together. So we're on Saturday night and I call the technician and at first, well, I called like just the internet provider, whatever number. And at first she's like, no, it's your computer. And I was like, crap, I just got this computer like last year. So I'm pretty upset. And then all of a sudden she goes, no, it's us. And I was like, why would you do that to me? And then they like apologize and they're like, we're so sorry. Uh, turns out like, I guess the woman I was talking to had received a signal that not all of our devices are working properly and it is in fact on their end. So now I have to wait until Tuesday between 9 and 10 a.m. for them to figure it out. They said it could be as little as the ethernet cord cable that we're using. It could be a faulty modem because she had me go to the app and like reset my network on my computer and it says it's identifying devices. I had even mentioned that my, com my husband's laptop is working and she said that might be absorbing a lot of the signal and so we'll see on Tuesday, which is probably when you'll see this, hopefully. Otherwise, I'm going to annoy you with the three videos I'm going to miss, but they'll still be actually recorded on the day of Vlogmas, so it wasn't my fault that I failed Vlogmas this year for once. It wasn't me getting lazy or frustrated or sad. It was actually my internet. So, anyway, fingers crossed everything gets fixed. I will update you in the next video, I'm sure, for Vlogmas tonight. My second ever Shein haul arrived. I am so excited. Look at this, look at this, look at this. And it's, it looks like a big package, but, and yes, they ripped it open, so hopefully everything is here and not damaged. Like, I got it like this today. Like, I did not do that. Um, it's only four items, but they're fluffy items, apparently. So it's not much, but I'll still try it on. So we'll get started. I'm going to put my hair up because I also think our AC isn't working and it's like a nice balmy 78 in Florida in mid-December. So, you know, that's perfect too. It's a little bit frustrating today. Plus I'm tired from walking Disney and shopping and getting last minute gifts in the parks and it was so crowded. Anyways, yes, let's get started. Let's, let's get some happy Cheyenne haul going positive energy. We're doing this. Okay. Yes. Awkward video. I'm so sorry. It's been a day. So another thought I had was maybe trying to edit and then putting the full video back on the USB card on this camera and then uploading it on my husband's computer. If his internet is in fact working, I don't think he's opened his laptop today or tonight. So if his internet's out, then it's definitely on their end, but maybe if his internet's working, I can upload the video over there. I'm pointing that way because that's where his laptop is, not like you know what my house looks like, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to do it. So let's get to this haul. Long intro, over. Love you. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, I only got four items this time. I was trying to be more selective because I'm supposed to be buying presents for other people, so I'm a bad person, but whatever. Treat yourself. Um, I'm an adult. <laughs> so, four items. Maybe it was five items. Yeah, I think it's five items because, yeah, okay. It looks like everything's here. I remember things. Crinkle, 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 crinkle. Okay. Yay, I'm so glad everything is here and nothing fell out because, yeah. Five items, everything's here. 
the first thing I got is this cute little kitty necklace. It is a rainbow kitty. I could not not get this. It's a rainbow kitty. And the chain is not broken, yay. Not like I've had any experience with broken anything from Shein, but how cute is that? And since I'm not wearing a necklace, I'm going to put it on now. It's just basic costume jewelry, but it actually seems like... Is it not going to lay flat? I was going to say it seems like decent quality, but I might have to restring that because it kind of goes sideways. Not restring, rechain. I don't know. I'm looking at my internet right now. It says no internet. Um, yeah. Cute little kitty guy. I think it was a dollar. I'll put the prices on the screen. So, yay for that. And the second thing, I'm super excited about this. I hope it's soft. Not that it's cold in Florida or anything right now. But came in the regular Shein bag. Shein, Shein. It is soft. It is soft. I'm going to try these on for you at the end. It is soft. And it was supposed to be baggy when I read the description, so I still got a small. But it's this pastel rainbow long sweater. It just has like, ooh, it's kind of staticky. Um, just your typical like crew neck, scoop neck. Nothing off the shoulder or anything about it, but it's so soft. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll actually be able to wear it in January. Like real Florida winter, which it does get cold down here, but just not this December apparently. But it's pretty thick. And the length looks like it'd be good with leggings so i'll try that on for you the next thing i have is i've seen reviews on it but i haven't really delved into it but i was tempted by she glam um which is their makeup line crinkle crinkle it comes like this so it's nicely padded and you know because i need more eyeshadow palettes spoil alert i don't need more eyeshadow palettes but here we are Plus, you know what? In my defense, my makeup's in storage. I need to go get it. And it is taped nicely. So here's my handy dandy razor. Um, but of course, it's a rainbow palette. I'll do a look with this and test it out. It does say it's cruelty free, but it is China, you know. But I'm just going to take their word for it. So I got the Fin Within with a little fishy on it. Super cute. Um, of course, it's, like I said, a rainbow palette. A rainbow-ish, rainbow-esque palette. Can you see them all over the place? Uh, I hope everybody's doing okay. Like I said, Vlogmas kind of got me all sorts of whatever, and Disney was crazy this evening. Because we, we did go on a couple rides, but we were mostly there just to get, like, last-minute gifts for the Disney fans and our family and stuff for the grandbabies, so no more glare. You can actually see it. I like the way it's pixelated. It reminds me of, you know, like the 80s. But see, I don't see the bunny on the back. Um, it, I couldn't really find much information on this makeup brand. Like I said, it is Chinese. The website itself claims to be cruelty free but they're animal testing and stuff like that but you know they can pretty much say whatever they want but it is pretty it's pretty so plastic so one two three four, one two <laughs> i can count looks like five glitters four mattes and three shimmers <clears throat> So let's do a swatchy swatch. Um, I'll do this pink, which is called Coat Tails. Please focus. And then I'll try the yellow, because if you're not new here, you know how I feel about yellows, called Island Fever. Meaning most yellows suck. And we'll try a glitter. This is called Glass Flipper. How clever is that? This like silvery aqua right here. So, it feels buttery for the two mattes, and then the glitter just, ooh, that's chunky. There we go. So that's just one swatch 
on my fingertips and then <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Okay, for one swatch that's not bad, but you know most mat most mats you're gonna have a build up. So one swatch. Not bad. Okay, I'll take it, you know. I think this was again prices up top. I think that was like eight dollars or something. If that so we'll play around with that. I'll do a look with that. Maybe not for Vlogmas, but I'll put it in a pile of things to record. And where are my makeup removers? Oh, good. See, I'm all out of sorts because of the internet thing. I was doing so well with Vlogmas, but then technology had to get in my way. Um, anyway, yeah, I didn't record at Disney because I knew we were like on a mission. So, and it was so crowded. Uh, we just, we were basically like, see you in a week, Disney, because we do have New Year's Eve, which I may or may not record because, you know, chaos and crowds. Um, I would love to record if possible, but we're going to be walking a lot and I'm sure the whole world will be there for New Year's Eve. So it'll be our first time going to New Year's Eve at the parks. This is also what they cut through or tore through. This was on top of where that tear was. So I was like, please don't be cut. This is a dress I got for a Tiana from Princess and the Frog Disney Bound. And also I'm going to wear this anyway because it's cute. But yeah, you can see the tear right here. And I was like, oh my God, please tell me you did not cut through the fabric. Whatever happened in the like conveyor belt in the mail post office customs, whatever. That this dress is not damaged with this cute little... I think it's supposed to be a cap sleeve, but maybe you can wear it over the shoulders. It's just green. Polka dots, empire waist, short dress. I like the material. It does look kind of see-through, but I usually wear shorts underneath my dresses at Disney anyway. And it has a back zip instead of the dreaded side zip that may or may not work. I got mine in a medium, and I did pay special attention to, like, the bust part because the rest is just an A-line skater type. But it's so cute and springy, but yeah, it was intended for a Princess and the Frog Tiana type bound. I already have a frog necklace, a tiara, you know, accessories, and yeah, I do like that material. It's not that bathing suit material, thank goodness. And the last thing I got was I went on an adventure looking for I wanted a black cardigan, which I talked about when I was going through my closet, kind of starting going through my closet. I don't need another cardigan until I sell or donate my old cardigans that don't fit, but I don't really have a black cardigan I can reach for, and the ones I wanted on Shein were not in my size or they were sold out entirely. So instead, <laughs> I got this. It's still a sweater, but it's not like a basic cardigan, and it's in little kid size. I don't know what the tissue paper is supposed to do. Just the tiniest piece of tissue paper. So it's still a cardigan and it's in a kid size. Um, EU164 US 13 to 14 years old. But because I'm kind of tiny anyway, hopefully the sleeves are long enough. So it's just a basic black. No pockets. Kind of thick. Like, that's nice. But the hood... His little ears. <laughs> the hood has little ears. So I was like, this is cute. But like I said, because it's a kid's size, and even though I was reading the measurements on their kid's line, I'm still kind of pushing it. But it's got some stretch. It's got some give. It seems like good quality. The buttons are all there. But yeah, so I have a cute black cardigan again. But this one has ears on it. So that's all I got, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this stuff on for you. And I'm really worried about this one fitting the most out of the other two clothing items I actually got. But it looks like the rainbow sweater will be long enough to wear like as a tunic or I could belt it with leggings once it actually gets cold. But oh my gosh, I can't wait for this little eared sweater to hopefully fit me ears they're so cute okay but I still think in my mind that's as basic as I will get like that's a basic cardigan to me but add ears you know like it has the hood 
that I wanted. It doesn't zip up like I didn't want. I didn't want to pull over. I wanted something that buttoned. So anyways, I'm going to stop talking and try these on for you. Love you. Oh my gosh, I love it. It is so freaking cute, obviously. It's rainbow and pastel. Like, I don't mind the collar. Usually I'll do like a bigger scoop neck or a v-neck for my sweaters, but I even like that the sleeves are a little bit long and it does, it's almost like a sweater dress. So I could belt it, keep the leggings on, not belt it and just go loungy. <laughs> Like, I think I could build it if I wanted to. I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. If I wanted to. It could be cute. That could be a look. Otherwise, my typical thing is just wearing really long sweaters and leggings and just curling up into a ball on the couch. So, very soft, not see-through probably gonna be staticky when I take it off it's that kind of acrylic material but I do like it and I'll show you the links or try to stay so it's a good length like I said you could wear it as a sweater dress but I do like it with the leggings these are the first ones I grabbed from good goth but 10 out of 10 recommend the rainbow pastel sweater It's so soft. Yay. <laughs> okay, there is pretty much nothing I don't like about this dress. Can't zip it up by myself, but that's besides the point. It's not that it doesn't fit, I just can't reach it. But I love the little sleeves. It's pretty much out of my comfort zone, but that's okay. Like I've been trying to do that lately anyways. But look at those cute little puffy cap sleeves and like the empire waist, I think is very flattering. We have to careful, be careful about like what undergarments I wear because I think there's panty lines, but this is just a two, three in the morning try on, but you get the idea. It's cute, it's airy, it's comfortable, very theme park approved, I think. It comes to like right above my knee. I love the material and the pattern and the color and I don't have a color like this in my wardrobe currently that I'm aware of <laughs> off the top of my head. The only problem is, yes, the bra situation, but I don't know if I care enough, but cute, 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 cute. I keep running into stuff, cute. <laughs> Yay. The sweater is everything except for the sleeves, which is fine because I could put it under a jacket or like yeah like put it this on and then put a coat over it if it's that cold because just a little bit but I had another idea I did this with a hoodie that was also too short and I'll show you in a minute but you can add fabric to any cuff so I'm gonna have to do that I think but I love the fabric it is that like stretchy lightweight ribbed sweatery knit I like it so definitely layerable, layerable. And there's enough space to button it up if I could find the buttonhole. So I can button it up and it's not straining. Like it's comfortable. But yeah, sleeves, I'm just gonna add a funky fabric to cover my wrists, I think. And then my cute little ears. They don't really stand up, but like that's the whole material. And I don't really wear hoods up a lot, but it's the aesthetic. I just wanted a basic black sweater, so here we go. I got it. But yeah, I even said earlier that I was afraid of the sleeves, and I was right, because it is a kid size for Shein. So just, oops. I can work a buttonhole. No, I can't. Yeah, keep that in mind. This video is all over the place, I'm sorry. Like the bottom button wants to flare out like that. So I don't know if I'd even button it often, but I do like the material 
I am sweating. I am dying. Like I said, it was almost 80 today. So much for cold Christmas. But... I like it. I'm happy with it. Especially for like whatever it cost. I think it was like 15 bucks or something. But I really like the dress. I like the sweater. I like the sweater. Can't go wrong with a rainbow kitty necklace. Even if it wants to spin. Does it lay? It kind of lays flat. Nope. It kind of does whatever it wants. <laughs> but like I said, I can put a new charm thing on that. But I really like this dress. I'm so surprised. Out of my comfort zone. But anyway, that's it. That's my second Shein haul ever. And I'm pretty happy with everything. I just kind of knew I was going to have to modify the uh, little ear hoodie and add like little sleeve cuffs to it. Oh, I was going to show you that sweater that I had already altered a long time ago to make the sleeves longer. So I'll show you in case you guys want to do this. So yeah, be right back. Okay, y'all, like I'm officially dying in this room, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you this. I got this hoodie from Alloy Ardelia's like forever ago, and when the sleeves were too short, I literally added cuffs to it. I did a couple other alterations, and go figure, it also has ears on it, but I added beads to the hood, but this is what I did to make it more cutesy. And so the sleeves would be long enough. I just added fake fur. Like the sleeves I can feel and they end like right here originally. So I just measured my arms and added the difference and hand sewed like inside out. Extra cuffs which match the ears. <laughs> And then I put little rhinestone guys in the corner pockets. But there's a little tip, a little DIY tidbit, if you will. If your sleeves are too short on a hoodie or a sweater, or even if they're not too short and you just want to add some extra flair, this fur costs like nothing back in the day at Walmart or something by the yard. And I think I got like a, a remnant. But you can always look for scrap fabric anywhere thrift stores, eBay, cut off some jeans, I don't know, um, <laughs> old sheets, curtains, I should just do a DIY video about like crappy, like stuff you can use as extra fabric that isn't fabric, but even though this hoodie is a bit snug, I do still wear it, I think adding the extra cuffs is really cute, but that's not what this video is about, it was just a little DIY tip, but yeah, if you enjoy this sort of thing and you haven't yet yet haven't yet feel free to subscribe do all the things give me a thumbs up leave me a comment if you want to and i will talk to you eventually and hopefully my internet gets fixed happy vlogmas sorry there was a delay i love you guys so much bye i love you so much awkward pixie out love you bye awkward bye love you bye